Hey y'all, my name is Michael Malekade, and I'll be your instructor for ENL3, Introduction to Literature and Literary Studies, this quarter. Uh, this is super weird, but here we are. Um, for this video, I'm going to go through a few different documents, just kind of introducing the class and what we're going to be doing this quarter. So if you want to pull up uh, alongside this video, the three documents, that would be cool. Uh, First, we're going to talk about the syllabus, which is the course policies and stuff. Then we'll talk about the contract grading, the grading system that we'll use this quarter in its own document. And then the third document is the schedule for the quarter. So we'll jump into the syllabus. This is Introduction to Literature. The sub-theme of the class is being human in a more than human world. Many of the poems, short stories, and novel that we're reading over the course of the quarter are going to represent some different ideas about how we, how we interact with our environments, with nature, how we think about different forms of life, and what it means to be human in this larger world. So uh, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to read the whole syllabus to you you are required to read the syllabus on your own, but I wanted to kind of touch on some main points. So first of all, up at the top, um, I've got my name, my email address, and my online office hours. You can email me whenever you want at that email address, um, and I will get back to you. I'll try to get back to you within 24 hours. Um, and my online office hours are Monday from 4 to 6. Um, I know that you all should have that time available on your schedule since our class is scheduled to meet then. Oh, I guess I should say, uh, I'm not going to require any, what we call synchronous, uh, meetings. We're not going to have class sessions where we all try to sign into Zoom at the same time or anything like that. I'm trying to keep this, uh, system as simple as possible. So the only time that we're going to have any potential face-to-face -face is in these online office hours. I will be at my desk uh, with Zoom open. And if you want to meet with me, <clears throat> if you want to meet with me, you can send me an email and I will invite you to a, to a Zoom talk. Um, if you email me during those scheduled office hours and I'm already in a meeting with another student, I'll email back and say uh, just a few minutes. And then I will send you an invitation when I'm ready. So every Monday, 4 to 6 p.m., unless something changes in my schedule and I update you via Canvas, I will be available for Zoom office hour meetings. If you need to meet at a different time uh, online, other than Monday from 4 to 6, you can send me an email and we can try to figure out an appointment that works for both of us. Uh, and I'm always available over email. So, uh, the course description and goals and the making switch to online learning sections of the syllabus. Basically, I say there's going to be a lot of reading, a lot of writing over the course of this quarter. That's going to be most of our work. Usually, we would have a lot of discussion in class. And since we don't get to do that, we're going to try to make up for it using weekly discussion board posts and stuff like that. Um, so take a look at those sections of the syllabus, and uh, as with everything, feel free to email me if you have any questions, concerns, confusions, etc. So scrolling down to required texts, hopefully you got my email if you were already enrolled in the class uh, a week or two ago when I emailed everybody. There's one required book for you to purchase, uh, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. It's a short-ish novel. You can buy the ebook. You can buy it from a place other than the campus bookstore. Uh, we're going to start reading it in May, so you don't need it until the beginning of May. Um, but as I said in my email, if buying the book represents a substantial financial burden for you, shoot me an email and we'll figure. We'll see if we can figure something else out. If I can find a library ebook version for you or something like that. So if it's if you can't afford to buy the book, email me and let me know. All the other readings will be available on Canvas, posted as PDFs. So the assignments section describes 
the different assignments uh, that we're going to do over the course of the quarter. The main stuff we're going to do, you'll be responsible for posting a weekly forum post. I will post a, a message board forum thread thing in our Canvas page, uh, and you'll be posting a response almost every week uh, on Wednesday nights by 11.59 p.m., and usually I'll have some kind of prompt or question to get you started. I usually have, I used to have word counts on assignments like this, but students have said having a required amount of words kind of makes them a little bit anxious or nervous and they feel a little bit freer in their responses without word counts. So I'm not going to have a, a word count. Your posts should be substantial. They should be thoughtful. They should include some of your own ideas or analysis of the, the concepts we're learning about and the poems, stories, novel that we're reading, uh, but no required word count. If I think your posts aren't substantial enough, I'll email you in the first week or two and let you know what I think of that. Um, but this is mostly supposed to be an informal, low-stakes assignment that you do every week just to show that you're thinking about the reading in depth. Then by Friday night at 11.59, you'll be required to reply to two of your classmates' posts. Uh, so you'll post replies to two of your classmates' posts from that weekly forum. I want these to be a little bit substantial and thoughtful as well. I'm going to post a, a meme for you all to enjoy about that. That makes me laugh anyway. Um, but yeah, it needs to be more than, oh, I never thought about it that way. Your post is well written. Send. It needs to be more than that. Something that you kind of actually start to build some kind of a conversation with your classmates. So we're building on each other's ideas. That's what we would do in class discussion. So what, that's what we're going to try to do with the discussion board posts. You'll write two essays this quarter and revise both of them a couple times. We'll talk more about that when we get to it. I think week four is when essay one, the first draft, is due. Uh, so I'll post that assignment probably in week two. And there will be time to think about it, talk about it, and write about it. You'll also give each other feedback on those essays in the peer response workshop. And there will be a final exam that we'll talk about near the end of the quarter. So that covers the syllabus. If you would open the contract grading document, we can talk about how the grading system for this class works. So this is my 10th uh, or 11th year teaching college classes. My first time teaching an online class, so... Uh, Bear with me. Um, grading is always kind of weird in a class like this. There's pros and cons to any different system of grading or philosophy of grading. So I want to keep it simple, especially since we're all adapting to this online system. And I know you all have complicated lives and stuff like that. So simple grading system inspired by a movement in educational theory called contract grading. There are five requirements that you must fulfill. If you fulfill these five requirements, meeting the criteria and stuff, you're guaranteed at least a B in the class. Uh, in order to get higher than a B, your writing has to be of higher quality. And if you fail to meet some of these guidelines, requirements, you'll get lower than a B. So the requirements... You need to complete all of the weekly forum posts and replies on time and meeting the criteria, meaning they should be substantial, thoughtful, etc. After the first two weeks, I'll email you and let you know whether you're meeting those criteria. You need to give thoughtful feedback to your classmates uh, in the peer response workshop activities for the essay drafts and on forum posts and stuff like that. You need to turn in the drafts of all of the major essays on time and meeting criteria. You need to have at least one individual conversation with me, either on Zoom or if you want to have an extended conversation over email instead of Zoom, I'm okay with that also. But you need to have at least one conversation with me uh, to talk about the readings, the concepts, or a writing assignment. 
And then finally, you need to complete the final exam on time and meeting the criteria. You do all that stuff, you're guaranteed a B. Your writing quality can help you get above a B. So there will be rubrics for the essay assignments, even though I don't grade the essay assignments exactly. I'll let you know how they how they fill out on our rubric. Uh, and if they're especially high quality essays, you can move above the B level. If you have any questions about this grading system, if you have any concerns about it, etc., if you want to know at any point how you're doing, you can always email me or check in with me on Zoom and we can chat about it. I want this system to work for you. It's meant to reduce anxiety about grades, meant to free you up a little bit, meant to make the quarter a little bit simpler. So that's the purpose behind that stuff. Finally, if you would pop open the schedule. Um, since we're not having synchronous class meetings, since we're not actually meeting together in class, I've just broken up the syllabus into weeks. So week one, I have this video listed as something you need to view. I have three poems, the syllabus, and two article excerpts that you need to read over the course of week one. And then two writing assignments, the, the weekly forum post uh, is due on Wednesday night and the weekly form replies, where you reply to your classmates' posts, are due on Friday night. So all of the stuff listed for week one, uh, obviously you need to complete the two writing assignments on those, by those deadlines, and you need to have read some of the reading in order to do the weekly forum post. But other than that, it's up to you when you do the reading, when you, if you want to make the posts early, you totally can. It's up to you to figure out what weekly schedule works best for you. But you do need to do all of the reading. I'm not going to have quizzes or anything like that. But the more time you spend with the reading, the more reflecting you do on the poems and the stories and the novel, uh, the better your writing is going to be, the sharper your analytical thinking is going to be. And so one, that's how you can advance beyond the B in the class, but also that's how you're going to learn the stuff that, that we're here to learn, that we're here to work on, is by doing the reading. So, week one, uh, just a kind of introduction, read the syllabus on your own and let me know if you have any questions. Read a poem by Amy Najuka Matatil, Corpse Flower. Uh, she's an awesome contemporary poet, uh, and this poem, Corpse Flower, I think is really fun, and that's going to be the basis for the weekly forum post number one. Sometimes I'll require one specific poem or story for you to talk about, as I am for week one. Sometimes you'll have more freedom in choosing. But week one, your post will be about Corpse Flower by Amy Nijuka Matatio. I'd also like you to read James Wright's poem, Lying in a Hammock at William Duffy's Farm. Uh, I shortened the title on the syllabus, but I think it's like, in Pine Island, Minnesota, or something like that. Short poem, cool, interesting. And then finally, uh, W.B. Yeats's poem, The Indian Upon God. I'm going to post a video about that one as well, so I want you to watch that video talking about that poem. And then these two excerpts for you to read are by uh, listed by Gardner, excerpt on active reading, Gardner, excerpt on basic elements of poetry. That's from a textbook that I'm not requiring you to buy, I'm just going to upload brief excerpts of it that are helpful. I think it's called Writing About Literature. So those articles will just kind of help you get used to reading poems and figuring out some of the terminology and some of the stuff to pay attention to when you're reading a poem. So that's the work for week one. If you have any questions about the syllabus, about the grading system, about the schedule, about the assignments, anything like that, feel free to email me or chat with me on office hours. Uh, I will be available for my office hours this Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. If you want to meet me on Zoom, make sure you have Zoom on your computer or phone or whatever and email me at that time and I'll invite you to a Zoom session. I think that's all. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I'm excited to read your writing and I'll be reading these poems and stories along with you all uh, 
And even though we are far apart and don't get to hang out in person, I'm still excited to see what you guys think of this stuff and to learn together about environment, literature, and what it means to be human in this pretty strange time.